let him go back in the yard because he might get mowed over. So I was wondering if I could let him go out here. But sure. It'd be here or over there, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, I feel where he wants them. Yeah. I know Mark I used to find to a lot of them over there at, at their I place, so the I know that they're anymore. around here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's, he's lawless, but I don't want to. Or out here, wherever. Yeah. Actually, Mark finds a lot of them over there uh -huh. at their place, so I know that there's yeah. got to be a lot around. Good. Anyway, so, yeah, that's Bill's oldest daughter's calling. She heard about the llama drama this morning, and uh, it all turned out all right. I was just panicking. I <laughs> can't take this stuff. Anyway. Uh, yeah, all we've had are boys. We've never had any girls. It's just, but that's all right. Finally, it showed up, but she had quite a hard time of it. So we have a little baby over there as we speak, trying hard to stand up. It mm -hmm. takes a while. <laughs> You've got a pretty fair herd of those too, don't you? Yeah, we do. I guess we better start trying to find home for them. But here's a banded crate, and um, fascinating snake. Its tail is blunt, and it will often use its tail um, as a decoy when it's defending itself to try to fool you into thinking that it's it's its head. It will hide its head under its body. Bill familiar with that particular animal? I noticed he picked that up with no worry, even though oh, it's no, no, weird no. at him a little bit. They, the <coughs> crates are, are very inoffensive. They don't strike. It's their nature. They're very, uh, only people who walk barefoot after dark or who sleep on the ground at night in Asia. If you grabbed one, it would turn and bite you for sure. You know, if you grabbed it too too far away from its head or stepped on it or touched it, but, but they won't actually strike. Hmm. They try, when they, they'll twitch around um, and they'll hide their head under their body coils, sort of. So this takes care of all that, and it provides them with a really high protein, um, sort of a science diet, Bill's design, and it's, it's a mixture of different types. It's an analogy quite often that it's like, it's, you can keep a canary in a cage, and it's, you know, like a boa constrictor or something, be quite content, relatively content. But poisonous snakes are high strung. They don't have the same, they're beautiful snakes. They're often uh, called, uh, hmm. Triangle snake with the umbrella snake too. They always have this very high ridge backbone. So the fangs are short, like the cobras, to which they're related, and they don't. Pictures okay? Oh sure, feel free to use photos, anything you want. And um, he, I don't know if you could see it on this. I can see it from here on the back. It's very viscous, venom is sticky, almost like honey sometimes. Some are, are more liquid than others, but it, it has a sticky texture, uh, uh, consistency to it. And he bit an injected poison. You can see it dribbling down along this side, which means he had to give more than a drop to get it to flow. And, but he can do it again. You know, he, they never run out. The venom glands are just like modified salivary glands. And, but we don't, we're just happy to take what we can get, feed them, keep them alive, and try again next week. But they struggle, you know, like speaking. Uh, it's so powerful, a little goes a long way. And um, so we're happy to see there's a lot going on right now that's so rewarding. We've known for so many years the tremendous potential Venom has in the healing arts and uh, so that, you know, it's never never really thawed. Once so it's when you ship it, you ship it freeze He's right. And it's a powder. So they just all go through this cycle every two weeks and it's uh, desperately. You know, all of it goes through the end of the serum. I just sent some out. This is the smallest one, and we uh, work it up to the biggest one. Again, they're inoffensive, but they some of them, boy, I'll tell you, they'll turn right around and grab you. That's for sure. I have to tube feed my coral snakes, and we mix in a heavy risk of turnout through glass. Sure. Uh, our milk products? It's, a, it's supposed to give them uh, glucose to oh, give them sugar. Have you seen any pictures left? I, 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 just, I read that somewhere, so that's what I've been doing. And, and I know they do. I see them saying they're living, they're getting fat. Oh, you don't yeah. see me catching them like this, though. Yeah, I'm I'm sure. No. Look at him reach. So, no, give me a good finger to bite. That's what I want. Yeah. Sorry. But, uh, well, that's quick, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people, you know, that old, fa you know, we hear about, uh, apparently this boy was bitten between the fingers, who was? Yeah, bitten the webbing between his thumb and four. But, uh, but these here, if they bite on the heat, they won't hurt him. 
No. Na nausea, swelling, and that's no, about it? No, not even that. Oh, really? Oh, no. Wow. Like I said, his booster shot is more than what one of these could give him. But, that's uh, amazing. No, no. No problem there. Don't Most Cobras don't either. either. <laughs> no. Um, we have like a four-hour window where we, um, you know, after a bite, usu usually within four hours, you know, you, you know the crisis is going to, if he's still hanging in there, not getting worse, you know. And that's usually on an elapid bite. We feel like he's, he'll be safe then at that point. So we always watch the clock, you know, on a cobra bite or something like that. This, this is nothing to him, nothing at all. In fact, he'd look at it as a positive thing, probably. Like, oh, and you had a good, healthy. He's okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, if you know it's a coral and they give you the antivenom, you'll avoid all the tremendous effect. Because what happens is it takes a long time. It's a little. They don't go a lot, but. It takes all the while these nerves are, the receptors are being, yeah. it takes a while for them to all become bound mm -hmm. by the toxin. Uh, now children, you know, some, some small body weight could be half that time for you know, a lot less. Everything's relative, the same way. You never really know what I'm saying, average. It could take as long as that before you'd even start. But once they start, once those symptoms start, that, you know, it's tremendously powerful stuff. And, uh, uh, when you get it from the snake, it's concentrated and it's destructive, like anything in nature with such power. But, but any effect doesn't have any of that. Oh. <laughs> He's looking right at you, Patty. Oh, yeah. He's He's smiling at you. Him shaking his tail. Thank you. 